One of the objectives of using the paths and the pen tools is so that you can create a clean path with as few anchor points as possible and really manipulate the curves yourself. And by doing that, you're going to create something that's going to print more effectively, load faster, etc. But you may not be as experienced with the pen tool, and the freeform pen tool is a nice option because it allows you to create a path as if you were using the magnetic lasso and creating your own points. So we're going to take a closer look at what we can do with the freeform tool. Here we go. Well, with the freeform pen tool, it's located with the pens, and it kind of looks like a calligraphy pen. I'm going to go ahead and choose my freeform pen here. And with the freeform pen, I've got some options at the top. One of the things I could do is make it magnetic. And if I make it magnetic, then it will snap to the edges as there's contrast. I'm going to go ahead and do that. And as I start going or moving around, I'm actually creating this path as if I were using the magnetic selection lasso tool to create something. Now, if it doesn't quite go where I want, I can click and then create another point. And you can see how it's setting up these features. It is creating quite a few uh, points for me. But it has some nice contrast. Now, obviously, the better the resolution of your image or the more pixel information and the better contrast, the easier it's going to be to use this tool because it's basing it on basing it on your, your changes of color and even the shift between the light and the dark colors. So this, this handle is a little tricky because it's just a little bit of a hard contrast to see. I can use my backspace if it doesn't quite go where I want to go and I can click it to add the fastening points and come back up here to the top and add those fastening points back in. Now, if I want to make some adjustments in here, I can actually use some tools like the Add Anchor Point, Delete Anchor Point, and I also have some arrow elements. So I'm going to go ahead and choose this Delete Anchor Point and see if we can get rid of some of these anchor points in here. I'm going to make sure my path is selected by just clicking on it. And I can see that a lot of these I could probably remove without much problem. And I'm just going ahead and removing some of those extra ones. The fewer the points you have, ultimately, the smoother the line's going to be. And the smoother the line is, the better it prints, the better it loads. If you're going to be taking this into a product like Illustrator and going to be using some of the vector features, then you'd want to take advantage of having fewer points, as few as necessary. But you can see how this is a pretty nice way of getting the, the rough draft of that path and then going ahead and making changes. I can then go ahead and switch to my arrow tools. There's two different arrow tools. There's a path selection tool and the direct selection tool. The path selection tool selects the entire path. And you can see how all these anchor points are filled in. And I can click and drag and move the entire element as one piece. I'm going to go ahead and undo that. Whereas the white arrow, sometimes they call it the, the hollow arrow, the direct selection tool allows me to get one point at a time. And when I click on it, you can see how one point can be selected as opposed to all the points. Where that could be handy is in a place like here. I'm going to go and zoom in, control space to zoom in. And I need to make a couple of changes. I can actually just move those points manually and as I move them manually, I can make some changes. I can also see this directional handle. This affects the curve. Each anchor point has these handles, and they're either going to be the handles are all the way pushed in so that it's a corner, or the handles are out and it's telling you it's a curve. And the curve may be symmetrical curve or it may be an asymmetrical curve. But I could go ahead and push those in and maybe even bring it out a little bit. Bring out, whoop, here we go, bring out that anchor point. as I need to. And if for some reason I realize, oop, I probably need an extra point right there, I'll just switch my tool to my add anchor point. I can add one in. 
and switch back to my white arrow and pull it in. And I can just pull in those directional handles, drag them right onto the anchor point, and it converts it into a corner instead of a curve. And then you'd go through and you could clean this up as you see fit. Here's another example where we could make some changes using that directional selection tool, just making some changes to clean up the curve and start adding points as necessary. I'm going to go ahead and take again, go to paths, and it's still a work path, and I would need to double click and name it in order to create a path. This is my free form. Give it a name there. And if I click somewhere else, the path is disappears, but I can still go back to my free form tool and they could closer look at some of these options in here. Let's take a look at the, oper at the actual options, and we can see the curve fit, so that's saying how close it's going to be. And we are using magnetic, but we have some options with width, contrast, and frequency. And if I remove the frequency down, in fact, let's hover here, it's going to give me fewer points, and that means I have less cleanup. Now, it also means that it may be um, not quite as accurate with the item I want, but um, let's go ahead and try this again with the frequency down, and you can see that already there's a fewer points than what I had from when I first started. I don't have to go back and erase those points. I'm going to use my backspace here to come back down. I don't have to erase those points because I'm already um, they're they're already not there. <laughs> if that makes sense. I'm going to go ahead and double click. And by double clicking, I'm just closing the path automatically, kind of a shortcut there. One other quick note when you're creating these paths, just go ahead and click somewhere else. Um, when you are clicking, if you want to create a, a straight line, hold down the Alt key and it will create a straight line for you instead of snapping to the magnetic line. So if you hold down Alt, you get a straight line, otherwise it's going to go back and snap in to the magnetic place. I'm going to double click and it connects the fastening points there and closes it for me. But what you have is the freeform pen tool. It allows you to create your paths and then you can even change those paths after the fact, adding or removing anchor points um, as, as needed.